it's Michael Stewart here with another Corel Paint Shop Pro tutorial and today we will be creating a business card so here I have a business card for Stu's greetings and I also have a business card that I made for a friend um, his name is Kenroy so what we will be doing we will be using these two business cards especially this one as a guide to create our new business card okay so to begin we go up to file new set the dimensions for a business card so business cards are usually 3.5 inches by 2 inches hit ok and there we have it there's a strategy that I always use when designing anything at all when designing flyers when designing business cards posters everything I always try to get the content on the design first so what I will be doing I will be putting in the the words so hit our text tool and then click the screen reduce it to say about uh, 22 all right so that's Ken Roy Morgan okay change the font style to something a bit more mature all right this looks good all right and if you notice to your right hand side as we create um text um it automatically creates layers so we have a white layer here which is our white um background and then we have our first vector layer so what i normally do i normally click the white air then hit the text tool again to continue um inputting text on it so maintenance services so type maintenance finance services and you notice I'm clicking apply changes this tick up here to apply the text and to move it around I simply point to the center point in the center where you see this little round dot until the 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 cursor changes to this four-way arrow and this allows you to move it around i can also click on the inside ctrl a to select all of the text and then reduce the size about 18 16 then apply the changes again position the text properly so take another look so we will be typing services painting maintenance landscaping okay so hit the white background again then click services colon maintenance land Escaping and what else do they have there? And painting. Oh, because I changed um the the tab, it's asking us to apply the changes. So we can go ahead and apply it and then go back to it to continue. So with the text tool selected, try to click somewhere inside um this text area and voila. We're now able to continue typing and painting. Apply the changes, or we could reduce the size. So I'm clicking on the inside again, Control A, then reduce this now to about 12, and apply the changes again. The last piece of text to add is this um, call and the phone number. So hit our white here again, click call 
enter. Don't remember the number, but it doesn't matter. Four nine six eight seven five one. You could probably try calling that number. I'm not certain who will answer. Control A to select it. Select all. Then I will center it. So align center. And then I'll reduce the size, increase the size to about 18 or 18 looks good. And then bring this piece of text here. So now we have separate layers for each portion of the text um, on the business card. So I can move each around individually and I can toggle on and off or the visibility of each alright so what else do we notice we notice that there's a black piece that runs behind the text Kenroy so what I will do I will go back here use the rectangular tool click the rectangular tool and then ensure that I have this black the background layer selected so that when I when I create this rectangle, it will create a layer that is just above it, but below all the other four layers. So I select it and drag it across like this. And you notice that you're no longer able to see Kenroy, the text Kenroy. That's because it is black and this is also black. So what I could do, I could go to the, the layer that has the Kenroy on it which is this layer another notice Kenroy Morgan I can hit the plus sign to gain access to the text click here right click on it and go to edit text and then control A then set that to white so left click and right click so the fill and the stroke and then apply that change and there we have it so we can now go back to our back um, our rectangle what I normally do I'd like to after I have created it it's in the form of a vector I normally right click on it then convert it to a raster layer I won't explain that right now but you can just go ahead and create a raster layer because I will be using the selection tool to to cut out these areas if you notice that there are some white spaces between different parts of this black segment so ensure that it's behind oh we need to make the maintenance um, white as well so right click on it go to edit text control A to select all of it and make that white as well and then apply that changes so we have Kenroy Morgan white text that's cool Fine. so to get the white spaces now I with I ensure that I select the black the layer with the black um, rectangle on it and go to selection and all I do is just randomly select across it and hit delete some very thin some very wide doesn't really matter I'm just selecting portions of it and just deleting okay that's about it and then I control D to deselect to get rid of um, the selection so thus far we're going good and then we notice that this services here is red but the rest is um, black so we go back to um, our design here go back to our text tool we can zoom in a bit and then select, select um, in between services here highlight that text here and then we can make changes to this um, section without it affecting the others 